Hello guys and uh, welcome -a back. Uh... <laughs> We're talking spaghetti serving measurers today guys and I'm going to show you guys an easy way with some simple measurements to use up some scrap stock to make a gift for your spouse, your girlfriend, whoever. Spaghetti serving measuring sticks. All right, so I'm going to be making this project today, um, and it looks a little like that right there. I'm going to be making this out of a little bit of scrap walnut. Uh, this is 3 16ths of an inch thick. It's a nice light size. You may want to use quarter inch, whatever you like, but either way, we're going to start off with a blank of two and a quarter inches wide and nine inches long. So let's start with that. Here we have our piece now of walnut, like I said, that we're starting off with at nine inches long and two and a quarter wide. The first thing we want to do here right off the bat is we want a mark down the center of the length of this board. The next thing you want to do is you want to put marks down that center line, one at two and three sixteenths, one at three and five eighths, another mark at five and a half, and the last mark at seven and five eighths. Now I've used my INCRA rule to place these marks, but of course you could use a tape measure. You don't. So now that we have the layout done of our center marks, we're now going to drill specific size holes for the specific servant sizes of the spaghetti. Huh? So the mark that you placed at two and three sixteenths, we will drill a seven eighths diameter hole. This mark here at three and five eighths will be a one and one eighth diameter hole. The mark down here at five and a half inches will be a one and one half hole. And finally, this last one down here at seven and five eighths, this will be a one and three quarter inch diameter hole. So we're going to head over to the drill press and we're going to drill these four holes and then we're going to play with the top end of it just a touch. So starting off at the hole at 2 and 3 sixteenths, we'll start with our 7 eighths diameter hole. Now you may want to put a backer board uh, behind your stock here just to prevent the blowout and the tear out as it comes through the back end of this board. So. Make sure you got a piece of scrap underneath this as you drill it. You just want to take it slow. There's no need to force these bits through. Let them do their job. Their job is to cut, not to plow through the piece of wood. Now at our next mark, which is at the 3 and 5 eighths, we want to make our 1 and 1 eighth inch Forstner hole. Now I've set the fence on the drill press so that I'm always centered of the board as I'm drilling. And that's just to keep all the centers aligned up. It just makes for a nicer looking project. Now, at our five and a half inch mark, we'll be drilling a one and one half inch porcelain hole. And then of course, lastly at the seven and five eighths inch mark, 
will be a one and three quarter inch Forstner bit hole. We have all of our holes drilled for one, two, three, and four person servings. Now what we want to do is, I've got a circle template here, and I just want to use whatever size circle I want, and I'd like to draw out on the bottom here these corners. I want to draw a circle there, or an arc, just to round off the corners. As well, I'd like to use the circle template in this area up here to kind of give us a little handle, just to make it a little more decorative. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, I'll show you guys what we've got after that. So what I've ended up doing is drawing an inch and a quarter circle up here at the top, and then you can see there on the design I've just kind of made it more like a handle shape, and I've marked in the center of that inch and a quarter circle uh, a punch mark there. I'm going to put a quarter inch hole for hanging this up and as well on this end I've uh, rounded off or marked for rounding off the bottoms. So I'm going to take this over to the disc sander, round off these corners and I'm going to take this to the scroll saw and cut this out and uh, we'll be right back. So we've got our design here and uh, I think it looks pretty good. So we're just going to give this a quick sanding on all surfaces and uh, we'll get back to you. And there you have it. Quick easy project, used up some scrap wood that may have just gone to a burn pile anyway. Uh, for the coating on this one guys, it really doesn't have to be food safe once the varnish or whatever is dry. It's food safe anyway as far as this goes. Nothing wet goes on this, it's just dry product. So you can use a food safe product if you want, like a uh, mineral oil and wax mixture, like a paraffin, or you can just coat it with uh, varnish and you'll be just fine. So give it a try, make one of these. It's a great little quick gift for your spouse or for your girlfriend or whatever, and uh, they're gonna love you for it, and who knows? They might even make you some spaghetti. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you next week with another Wood Work in the video.